um, trauma for the spice or something. So it's kind of like the month of horror thriller emergency. I feel like I've been overthinking recording this one, so... <sighs> anyway, so I have a book that I wanted to recommend. It's called Daisy Darker. Have it with me. What's interesting in here is that this is a murder mystery thriller book and it's already October 1st so it's kind of like the month of horror thriller murder mystery. I got a little spoke, it was just a cat, sorry. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about this. So basically the setting of this one is a family is staying at this house called Sea Glass. I'm just gonna that's sea glass and in about eight hours they would be uh, stranded in this house because there's an absolutely nowhere else they don't have neighbors and there's uh, like a high tide in here so literally no contact from the outside world whatsoever and what's interesting is that they are a very dysfunctional family so it's kind of like the father doesn't give a fuck about the everyone else except his music and his orchestra. They have an alcoholic mother who doesn't care about anyone else besides herself. And also um, she keeps blaming her kids about the acting gig that never panned out for her because she got pregnant too early. We have the firstborn, which is just a cold hearted person who might have a past with one of the men um, characters, side characters. And then we have the second born who is absolutely nasty uh, who got herself pregnant accidentally which is um where our favorite character comes in which is trixie um she is a teenager um who is absolutely smart and beautiful i i'm not sure why she's with this kind of family but um you know she's the best of the best um and then we have daisy darker who is our broken main character, um, not in a way that you would think. Um, she's broken hearted because she has a heart condition, she died a few times and then come back to life. And um, yeah, so pretty much everything carries a baggage or also a trauma. And then we also have Connor. Connor is someone which the grandmother actually saved from um, his abusive um, environment or abusive father so 80th birthday um there was a premonition that the grandmother would only live for when she's about 80 so she planned on inviting everyone else in the sea glass house the day before her birthday to celebrate it so everyone is there and it makes me feel like it's kind of flea bag minus the humor um yeah but it's more of everything is just dysfunctional and they kind of tiptoe around the problems surrounding their family and it is funny or it's funny to see how they navigate it also i feel like if taylor swift wrote a book it would probably be something along this kind of book because it has a lot of lines that has double meaning to it and sometimes you have to read between the lines or because not everything is as it seems and there's also this um, line that keeps haunting me where they talked about if you were going to murder someone, how would you do it? And the grandmother told them that there are much cleverer ways to end a person rather than just killing them. But like, it just kind of haunts me because I feel like this is what the whole book would be all about. And so the murder ensues probably around page 53 and we all know that the grandmother dies. And it seems like she didn't die from natural causes. It seems like someone murdered her. So the way that the murder goes is that um, as one of the family members die or one of the characters in the sea glass house dies, um, there's a poem that appears. So there's quite a lot of poems in here and it's kind of the way that the book is also written. There's double meaning into it. There's a past that we don't know about, the readers don't know about. And it seems like everyone just hurt everyone in, in this one, which makes it great. Um, trauma for the spice or something. 
Um, and then aside from that, there's also a VCR that is left for everyone to watch. This is interesting because we're looking at the story through Daisy's eyes, through her lens, and it seems like in every VCR uh, video that is playing, she has a trauma that is replaying through her head and we, the audience, uh, know about it. And it's just amazing that kids in this book, the younger version of the people in that house, especially the siblings, which is Lily, Rose, and Daisy, they were atrocious as children and I've never seen anything written like that. So, um, so far, it's been interesting. <laughs> So I'll uh, update you guys if there's anything else.